to fight anymore. I can't save my dad. Okay, I, I'm not a savior. If anything, I, I'm a murderer. I'm talking about my mom. Yeah. Ah! I would be here with you right now if things had been different and how we will get through this, okay? We always do. There's really no need to say it. I have to say it. First I was angry, but then I realized the truth. The one we can't avoid. Or don't. With all my heart for it to be different, but are you breaking up with me? We should probably stay far away from each other. <laughs> I mean, where are you gonna go? I don't know. I don't belong at this school without you. Goodbye, though. Both agree the intervening centuries have turned me into an altogether different beast. Your cruelty made sure of that. And I am vicious and hateful. Just like you. It's precisely those qualities that make us uniquely suited to murdering that witch. And why would I trust you? Because my daughter's life depends on it. And you love yours as I love mine. Disappointments, the revelations of betrayal. There were moments when all you had to do was be my father. And even then, you despised me, didn't you? I want to know why. I don't know. I just did. Ha! 
I win, what's my prize? What would you like it to be? Now I'll have both of you here to keep me entertained. Foremost, I'll need someone to escort me to the Founders Ball. I'd With pleasure. Mr. Salvatore, spying on a lady is a sign of very poor manners. But since you're here, my corset strings seem to be knotted. I wonder if you could undo them? The smart and kind Salvatore brothers both coming to my rescue. How will I ever choose? She chose me. I escorted her to the ball. And when will you stop worrying about Damon? I want you all to myself. Just as he wants me, but I'm the one who gets to break all the rules. I will love you forever. Forever is a very long time, you know. Your face. It was like a demon. But you're not afraid. Get away from me. Get away. It doesn't change the way you feel about me. We will not tell anyone. We will go on exactly as we are. Because I'm spoiled. Yes, you are. I'm selfish. You can trust me, Mr. Salvatore. I would never cheat. I didn't care that I had gotten something that my brother wanted. I didn't even really care if it hurt him. I only knew that I wanted her. I've never met a woman quite like you. I look at you and I see an angel. I kiss you, and I know that I'm falling in love. Is this so wrong for me to want you both? You have no idea of the future I had for us, Stephen. You, me, and Damon. No words. to be together forever she was the most beautiful girl that i had ever met she had this perfect olive skin and she had this laugh it was, it was ridiculous i mean her laugh made you laugh and she was fun she knew how to have a good time but Catherine was also very impatient, entitled, and selfish, and um, impulsive. <laughs> we just cut to the chase, huh? I'm here to forgive you, Damon. You must not have gotten the memo. You see, Bonnie helped me work through my issues. And you have the reason for your visit backwards. Okay, then. Enlighten me. You're not here to forgive me, Stefan. You're here so I can forgive you. <laughs> You're kidding me, right? Think of all the ways that you have ruined my life for the last century including the fact that I'm working for Cade right now because of you, and you seriously believe that you're the one who should be forgiving me? You're right. I'm a monster. But like I said, I forgive you. I have nothing to apologize for. Why are you here, Stephen? Huh. Why are you always there to straighten me out when I go off the rails? Come on, man, you're not here for Cade. You're here because you blame yourself for turning me in the first place. Apparently, I still do, too. At least until today. I officially forgive you. Shut up! I forgive you, Stefan. <laughs> Why aren't you healing? Remember that vampire I was warning you about running around in my head? Well, it's not me. It's you. 
It's always been you, Stefan. So for the last time, I forgive you for making me what I am. I absolve you of all the death and destruction I've caused as a result. And you want to know why? Because you're my brother. And I love you. And there's nothing you could do to ever change that. We'll see about that. You want to forgive me for something bad, Damon? Well, how about this? Well, I'm about to burn Mystic Falls to the ground. What the hell are you talking about? Hell is what I'm talking about. So before that beautiful brass bell rings, forgive me, Damon. I dare you. And while you're at it, forgive me for coming here and trying to save you. Forgive me for having the tiniest shred of guilt while leaving you to die with everyone else. For not seeing that the only way to get rid of you is to let you go up in flames with the rest of the damn town. I wanted to apologize. Good. Let me finish. I said I wanted to. And then I realized I'm not sorry. You would rather die than be human. And you expect me to be okay with that? I didn't say you're supposed to be okay with it. I just said I'm not sorry. But you know what I really am? Selfish. Because I make bad choices that hurt you. Yes, I would rather die than be human. I'd rather die right now than spend a handful of years with you, only to lose you when I'm too old and sick and miserable and you're still you. I'd rather die right now than spend my last final years remembering how good I had it and how happy I was. Because that's who I am, Elena, and I'm not going to change. And there's no apology in the world that encompasses all the reasons that I'm wrong for you. Okay, fine. You know what? Maybe I was jealous. Maybe I wanted what you had. A simple day with my family. I lost half of my stuff in that fire, including the only painting I made with my dad. What is this? Mom said you like to paint too. Why would I do that to myself? So, centuries later, each of us is broken. You with your anger and paranoia. Which means I've broken one of your rules. And yet I cannot be killed. I am immortal. Who has the power now? Friend. Be you with me. Fear of abandonment. And this city and those orphan Annie vampires. Oh, and those orphan Annie vampires are my family and this city is my home. It was my home too once. I left. You ran. I stayed. This empire, it thrives because of me. And you want me to run. A man does not run from his home. I have lived a lot longer than you, Marcellus. I have seen kings rise and fall. If there is one thing I know to be true, it is that no matter how big your empire becomes, it is nothing. You have no one to share with. And poor Elijah. He dedicates himself to everyone but himself. Well, who's more pathetic? The one who sees folk in his own home. The coward. We are the strongest creatures in the world, and yet we are damaged beyond repair. We live without hope. But we will never die. We are the definition of the curse. That nobody wanted. Must, Must you realize, realize for you to stand here judging me? Surrounded, surrounded by all the things that you got out of life while I spent 18 years in isolation as the family reject. And let me tell you, every inch of me wants to kill you for that. But I can't. I can't.
can't even remember our last conversation. And we haven't talked in months. We've both been so busy. After everything we went through, I guess I just always assumed that he would be there. <laughs> 